hi everyone the study that i am going to present today is an investigation of visually impaired learners marginalized in an online classroom environment this study took place in two universities as a collaborative research project of three investigators being the chief investigator me arjun de silva i am presenting on behalf of the research team the supporting investigators were dr tanuja sandanayaka and dr mfm ferdaus from university of moratua and myself is from university of kalani sri lanka one of the leading universities in sri lanka having said that we can move to the outline of this presentation introduction problem aims and objectives related work methods findings conclusion propose encapsulated solution model introduction the covid 19 outbreak created a new normal lifestyle in communities across the globe such global crisis arisen for the first time after world war 2 which took place from september 1st 1939 to September 2, 1945. After 75 years, we face a global disaster, which uh, halted the growth development of the mankind for a while. Universities and other educational institutions physically closed due to COVID-19 outbreak since March 2020 in Sri Lanka. Many countries have chosen to teach and learn. in online space rather than on site space sri lanka has also decided to physically close universities and other educational institutions and run online teaching learn however the classroom population had disabled students who attended the same course with normal students also had to change learning space from on site to online Finally visual impaired learners who were recognized as a special population group among students population had suffered highly from the space transformation Visual impairment is a disability that does not support the visual learning style Visual impairment limits the learning style to auditory and kinesthetic learning styles On site education helps visually impaired students with relevant on site material support and relevant on site human support to collaborate and compete with regular students but in the online context they may struggle to adapt to the contextual change without on site material support and on site human support this created a new form of digital divide among students of the same program in universities and colleges problem the problem of the study is what are the issues visually impaired students facing in online classroom spaces and to what level these issues have affected their academic educational progress and learner satisfaction the evidence to the existing issue Visually impaired learners started to complain about the difficulties they face in online classroom space over the phone and they formally informed the top management of the institution about the injustice happened to them aims and objectives of the study the aim of the study is to examine the level of satisfaction of visually impaired students in online classroom to identify their issues and causes in online classrooms and to propose a mechanism to minimize the issues identified research objectives to review the satisfaction of visually impaired learners in online classroom to identify the most critical issues and the causes of issues in the online classroom for visually impaired learners to propose a theoretical method or a model to improve online classroom to demarginalize specific group of students in teaching and learning process related work visual impairment in learning has been discarded before 2010 and with the technology support the world believe that they can 
also learn without visual uh, support they can also learn uh, with the regular students regular programs early days it had been a special educational training for visual impaired learners today it's not issues faced by visual impaired learners in learning there are a lot of uh, issues they face in uh, on site education as well as online education but most of the on site education purposes they have uh, their human support and their device support and they are used to it but when the space is changing from online to on site to online they have a few more additional burdens problems recently popped up related work again technology in remedial to disability uh, the world population as of today is 7.9% and it is said 15% of the world population has kind of a disability hearing uh, eyes or whatever so technology is a remedial uh, solution for this uh, whatever the disability unfortunately some of the disabilities uh, technology is not a, a major help uh, particularly when it comes to education it's a it's a time space related matter and uh, when the students are struggling to deal with the time technology might not help them as to perform as a normal students now say this is what we have been trying to address throughout the uh, study then comes the visual impaired learners learning context and available technology technology is not always successful sometimes it drags you down it lets you down so technology acts to help you and on the other hand uh, technology itself creates barriers to the uh, disabled students so the methods conceptual framework initially based on the literature we understood that the students facilitators pedagogy and extended learning environment uh, are the predictors of visual impaired learner satisfaction on learning technology then we understood visual impaired learners and learning technology fit facilitator and learning technology fit pedagogy and learning technology fit uh, extended learning environment and learning technology fit these four factors will act as moderate uh, moderating factors to the association of these two predictive and outcome variables so this is simply the conceptual framework methods nature of the issue and the related philosophy scientific controversies we have in this problem and uh, pragmatic world view strategy descriptive single case study choice mix method time cross sectional instrument survey open ended and interviews subjects we had two subject groups group 1 visual impaired learners 56 members out of 56 population survey method it's a survey a uh, ligat scale survey which was ending up with open ended questions group 2 was uh, facilitating a staff uh, course instructors teachers technical officers examination directors and registrar there were 10 people like that sampling there was no such sampling technique we took the entire population uh, it was a census study then data collection management and analysis visual impaired learn a survey data online survey was done 56 distributed and 56 return all were taken we uh, the missing data was not a problem at all analyzed with ibm spss version 21 statistical tests were mainly descriptive statistics and chi square test for independence testing a learning facilitators interview data Ten facilitator interviews were recorded, translated, transcribed to English. The subscribed file was then passed with Atlas T version eight.
and generated themes, chords, chord families, etc. Subject group findings overall satisfaction females are the most dissatisfied people and also the when it comes to age groups 18 to 25 the youngest age group were more dissatisfied so it can be concluded that females are dissatisfied with the visual impaired online teaching and also the younger people did not like the way it had been taught in the online course. Uh, then detailed uh, findings of these uh, visual impaired learners dissatisfaction explained I issues with accessible devices and connectivity when you have connectivity problems then it's uh, leading to dissatisfaction issues with the teaching learning platforms lack of adequate training for teaching staff issues with the pedagogical and neurological approaches lack of individual attention, lack of extra time for learning and assessment, issues with individual research space, issues with assessment platforms, unavailability of peer support, and finally unavailability of bilingual communication. So these had been grouped into uh, four major groups related to pedagogy and learning technology, visual impairment, and learning technology, learning facilitator and learning technology, finally extended learning environment. Extended learning environment is a natural setup. Uh, and uh, this is, these are the causes of new normal digital divide in uh, online teaching and learning. Then comes the conclusion. On-site online context transformation results, space change, time change and power change. This change affects humans and material semiotics positively and negatively. Students, facilitators, pedagogy and extended learning environment are the major actants of the online learning spaces. Human actants, learners and facilitators adapting to space-time power change will survive or thrive and those who cannot will suffer. Semiotics related to pedagogy and learning technology fit, visual impaired learning and learning technology fit, facilitate and learning technology fit and extended learning environment and learning technology fit should be considered to maintain the equity of education. So the proposed model will be talking about all those aspects. We divided the entire learning technology paradigm into four uh, concerns. The first concern A pedagogy and learning technology fit. The first pedagogical and learning technology fit uh, is determined by three factors bilingual communication pedagogy and pedagogical approaches and individual attention b student and learning technology fit uh, here also we talk about three things extra time should be given to them and individual research space you need more attention on them and the peer support you should uh, uh, allow buddies to deal with them or help them then comes the C facilitate learning technology fit facilitator has two roles training the staff we have trained the staff to teach the visual impaired learners among the normal students and assessment platform should be uh, redesigned uh, uh, to uh, uh, comply with the equity and uh, equality uh, among the students. Finally, extended learning environment and the learning technology fit. This one is also has two aspects, accessible devices and connectivity. Finally, teaching learning platforms. So I said that this is the uh, model we finally came up with. Uh, thank you very much for listening to this presentation. If you have any great ideas, you can ask now. Thanks.